All right, well, Texas is now arresting migrants illegally crossing the border on trespassing charges. More than 30 now confined to an empty state prison, up from 10 just last week. This is the administration has quietly resumed a Trump era policy accelerating the removal of migrants and families to curb, they say, the surging spread of COVID. It's a desperate attempt. Is it working? Texas GOP Congressman Tony Gonzalez. Uh, Congressman, how much worse has this gotten and how much better has Operation Lone Star been for people in your community? Yeah, things are as bad as they've ever been. Uh, it hasn't gotten better. It, it's only gotten worse. And and sadly, Texans feel as if we're alone, and we we see it. You know, uh, we're doing everything we possibly can to uh, fight against this immigration crisis. But the big guy is a wall. Kamala Harris is a wall. I mean, federal government is nowhere to be found. Texans are having to take care of Texans as we fight through this pandemic. A couple of months ago, my county judges were asking for more body bags. I had to work with the Texas Division of Emergency Management to get them more body bags. And guess what? Now they're asking for even more body bags. Right, because the summer months are here and the journey is more dangerous. You famously were at a ranch where we saw little girls who were abandoned. Um, you, you put that story out there. You're a dad of, of six children. I can relate to that, um, especially as a congressman. Um, how the left, the Democrats claim that their open border policy is compassionate. Talk to me about how it's not compassionate for Texans and how it's hurting those who are coming across as well. Yeah, their open border rhetoric that is turned into open border policy is dangerous. It's and it's killing people. It's killing migrants. It's creating this chaos. You're seeing a a, a spike in COVID cases. Uh, I'm getting I'm getting told on the ground in these detention facilities that the numbers are reaching upper to 20 percent. Wow. So it's not it's absolutely out of control, and they're they're going about it the wrong way. You know, you're, you've got 1.1 million illegal immigrants that have come through and they're encouraging even more. This administration should focus on legal immigration reform. Instead, they're creating this chaos, and sadly, migrants are dying horrible deaths. Imagine running out of water in the middle of a desert. Yeah. Imagine yeah. being stuck in a U-haul. I mean, it's absolutely uh, uh, despicable what's happening. Sure, and at the same time, the government, because the, this administration has given ICE new marching orders where if you want to arrest somebody, you got to call the front office, they have apparently focused part of their mission and they are now cracking down on sex offenders. And since the month of June, which was just last month, they've already arrested and are in the process of deporting 300 sex offenders. Congressman, this at the same time, uh, Joe Biden's administration is spending $2 billion to simply stop building the wall, which obviously a lot of people would say we really need. Oh, yeah. Experts on the ground tell me we need three things. We need a wall, we need technology, and we need boots on the ground. These are the people that live it every day. What is what is Joe Biden doing? He's defunding the wall. He's not adding any technology. And, and the appropriations, we're about to, to vote on appropriations bills this week. The appropriations bill defund Border Patrol and ICE by $1 billion. Does that sound like somebody who's trying to tackle the problem? It's no. the exact opposite. Yeah, they, they want have, open borders yeah, to happen. They put out expedited removal, but it's going to be a short time. If you come up with any sob story, you'll be allowed to stay. Kamala Harris nowhere to be found. And, of course, $2 billion is being spent to settle deals with contractors uh, on the fence, on the wall, to either destroy it or store it. And that's on taxpayers' expense. We're paying not to have a barrier. Incredible. Congressman, thanks so much. Thank, Thank you, you, Congressman. Have a great day. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.